And after 29 years in prison for a drug offense, Richard Wershe, a.k.a. White Boy Rick, could be mere hours from winning his freedom. Local 4 defender Kevin Dietz reveals what's at stake and how Wershe is feeling about his latest chance for release. Tomorrow morning at 8.30, Rick Wershey will have the most important interview of his life. It is with the head of the parole board, and it could lead to his release from prison. Rick Wershey has had a lot of ups and downs in his effort to be released from prison. In his 29 years locked up, this is his best chance yet for freedom. Still, he isn't completely convinced that Michigan's longest incarceration for a nonviolent juvenile offender is coming to an end. The best words to say would be cautiously optimistic. I mean... You hope that it's over with after almost 30 years in here. In 2003, where she had a full parole hearing and was denied. In 2007, he had a one-on-one -on -one meeting like the one he will have tomorrow. It led to no consideration. No one from the parole board has met with Wershey in the last 10 years. Richard Wershey Jr. is the only defendant who was convicted of the crime that he was convicted of as a juvenile that's still in prison. Everybody else has been released. Murderers have been released. Robbers have been released. Rapists have been released. He's been in jail for 29 years. Ralph Massilli is Worshi's attorney. He says tomorrow's meeting is huge. If it goes well, he believes it will lead to Worshi's release. And tonight at 11, the defenders will be live from Manistee, Michigan, where Oaks Correctional Facility is. And you'll hear more from Rick Wershey on the eve of this important meeting. Kevin Dietz, Defenders. All right, Kevin, we've gotten around 800 replies on Facebook to this question. Do you think Rick Wershey should be released? It's a no for Sean, who says under lock him up and throw away the key in the dictionary is a picture of this guy. Cheryl disagrees, though, saying yes, there have been murderers that have gotten less time. It's a no-brainer. We invite you to share your opinion on the Local 4 Facebook page.